pelicans get their name because of the pinkish coloration on their backs. Coming up on the left hand side are some Nile crocodiles. Now crocs are known for taking on prey bigger than themselves, including baby hippos, antelopes, and even sometimes other crocodiles. They're about as long as a giraffe is tall, which is about 18 to 20 feet long. Now coming up ahead of us, this tall standing horn structure is known as a termite mound, which is made out of mud made of the beach. They're also very long distance trekkers as well, traveling around 500 to 1,000 miles each year. Coming up on the left and currently crossing the road, the Ancoli cattle. Now, Ancoli cattle have massive horns. They actually use those horns to circulate blood through them to help control their natural body temperature, which can cool them down on the very hot, dry days in the savannah. Kind of like a personal air conditioner, but not really, though. It's the closest comparison I can give it. Now, sometimes this does occasionally happen. It's kind of funny, sometimes you can see the giraffe's uh, slime. Coming up on the left and right hand sides, these are actually the largest antelopes in the world. A full grown adult male stands about six feet tall at its shoulders. Left hand side, it looks like two African elephants. Wow. Now, African elephants have massive ears. They actually use those ears to flap against their skin, kind of acting like a fan. Usually, Asian elephants have much smaller ears just because they live in much cooler climates. Both male and female African elephants have tusks, whereas in Asian elephants, only the males have tusks. Spreading this information to our friends and family. Like the baobab tree, it makes a massive impact on the elephants. Coming up ahead of us is a flamboyance of flamingos, but not just any flamingo. They get that light pink color from eating things such as brine shrimp and other water creatures that contain beta keratin, which holds the pigment, which changes their feathers that beautiful. They still get up and do stuff, but for the most part, they rest and take naps just like this. I think, though, they are active animals. They have about six times greater eyesight at night compared to a human. But during the day, both humans and lions have the exact same eyesight. Now, usually the males are the same as to take care of the cubs to protect them from any predators, whereas the females are the hunters of the prey. Oh, look at that other one. That one's doing it. Oh, wait. 